Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel, and I am so excited to have each and every one of you here with me today, and I have a couple of things that I would like to show you. Um, I'm so excited. I have designed my first cardigan, and it's called the Simple Summer Cardigan. And uh, like I said, I'm very excited about this, so I'm just going to start with that. So, um, yeah, here we go. Um, I went ahead and put it on my mannequin. And this is it. <laughs> Let's see. Let me move over some. <laughs> um, make sure I'm getting it in the camera right. And I will release this pattern tomorrow, Friday. I just have a few more things that I need to do for the PDF version of it. But this is a free tutorial on my YouTube channel. Here. <laughs> okay. And this is... It's very customizable. So I hope you guys um, like this. I'm so excited over it. Um, I was looking for something that I could wear um, throughout the whole summer and not just in spring because, um, you know, summertime I still like a cardigan. And so I wanted something that's short sleeve. And um, now I do show on the tutorial where that if you choose to, you do not have to add the band. This is perfectly fine without the band. But I'm a little bit older, and so I like for my sleeves to come down a little bit. It actually comes down to about right here, which is okay. Um, and so I just bring it down to about right here. Not a big deal. Um, so you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. You can still wear um, the tank tops with it and all that. Okay, so here's what I used for it. Um, this is a four weight, but it's like a thin four weight. See there? Um, yeah, here's some full weight yarn to compare it to. Go. See the difference? So that's like a DK to me, and because that's full weight right there. So, um, even though it says full weight, it's more like a DK or a, you know, I just call it a thin four. <laughs> okay, so the yarn that I used is this Flex yarn. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just love this yarn. And I have it in two other colors over there that I won from Nancy from She's Got Yarn too from her giveaway. So I'm excited about that. Uh, the color of this is Deep Pink slash Coral. It is Loops and Thread. Here it is. It is Loops and Thread Flex. It's 590 yards. I did get into this just a tad bit. I mean like just for two little single crochet rows on one of the sleeves and that's it. Um, so if you wear like a medium large, you uh, one ball of this would work. Um, you just didn't don't have to put as wide of a band or maybe even as wide of a bottom and you will be just fine. Uh, let's see, uh, for this yarn, it is, it says 590 yards. Where did I see this other? 79% acrylic and 21% polyester. So there you go. <laughs> um, and you can make this in all the different summer colors and it'll be just amazing. And the two hooks that you will need for that, uh, this is, I used a J hook. And I do get these customized hooks from Brenda from the Newbie Crocheter. Uh, I will leave her email below in case you want some uh, crochet customized crochet hooks she has two different uh, shafts where this one's a little high and then she has it where they come down a little lower and so for me she makes them a little higher so there you go and the other one that I used is a this is my favorite hook next to my custom hooks there this is my G 4.0 it's the clover soft hook I love these hooks um okay <laughs> So there you go. That's my first crochet cardigan that um, I'm doing a tutorial for. And like I said, I hopefully that I will have this out Friday for you guys. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. I did receive some happy mail and this is like some Mother's Day happy mail. How exciting is that? This is from Juana. 
And um, she sends this beautiful little Mother's Day card. And it is so pretty. Thank you so much for that. And um, happy Mother's Day to you, by the way. So anyway, thank you for the card. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> so what she gave me is this cute little, um, little. I guess it's a llama. <laughs> you know how, guys, how we are on this. Yes, it is a llama. So she gave this cute little llama. Isn't it cute? Look at that. And it's so soft and plush, and I just love it. Thank you so much for that. And, of course, I get yarn. Um, I love Premier Basic. Who doesn't? Look at that. Royal Blue. And I was looking over there. I actually emailed her back and told her, thank you for this yarn, because I was really needing this yarn. I was needing these colors. So, thank you for that. That's Premier Basic, and it should be 100% acrylic. It's Royal Blue. Uh, yes, 100% acrylic, 359 yards. Wow, that's a lot of yards. Okay, the other thing I got, and I was excited about this, I did not know Red Heart had, um, what do you call it, um, sparkles in it, but it is. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I haven't, I don't have this one, certain one. It's black, and it says, um, it's 255 yards. It's Red Heart Super Saver Metallic. And I actually have a project that I am using this for. So, I mean, right off the bat, it's being used. <laughs> and the other one is this one right here, Super Saver, and it's the red. And I am saving this one for Christmas. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll try to get a little closer. But I'm saving this for Christmas because I already have my Christmas project picked out for this as well. <laughs> um... Let's see, it might be a free pattern on the back. Look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if that says a free pattern. Pattern on back. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so this is Super, Red Heart Super Saver Metallic, 255 yards. Um, a 5.5 USI hook. Hmm. And it's just called red. So there you go. Um, we did get some organic element seven buttons, wood buttons. It says handmade for you with love. And I love this guys. Look at that. Gorgeous. Thank you for that. And then we have, um, make sure. okay, I'm going to put some of this yarn back. <laughs> I've been so excited to get to show this um, Happy Mail video off. I've had this for about a week, and um, but I had some other videos that I had to put out before this, and I was working on this, and I could not rest. I couldn't even get hardly get on my Facebook group page or do anything till I got this out. So um, yeah, um, my mind only works one direction sometimes. But she gave me this cute little uh, free pattern that she saw from Michael's, and I thought it was adorable. Look at that. It is so cute. It looks like it's made with sweet snuggles, loops and threads, sweet snuggles. That's adorable. Okay, and I love this. This is magnetic bookmarks. I absolutely love these. Now, what I do with these is all of you guys that have these Whip Caddy cards, here's what you need to do with these. Okay, you open it up and you stick it to your whip cart. And when you're sitting there working on a pattern book or something, or you just got a new book, um, I use these as my bookmarks. And I just peel them off my caddy <laughs> and stick them on my, let's see, I was thinking if I even have a book in here right now. Because um, I do have some books, but no, this is before I came up with that. But but the books that I am using in my, um, where the whip cart is, I actually have this in there. Uh, not this, but some of these that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. And uh, so I appreciate this. Um, and they're just so cute. Look at that again. But yeah, so if you have a whip cart and you have some of these, just stick them to the side of the whip cart. Uh, just line them up, whatever, and they will come in handy. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Uh, the other thing, stickers. Oh, these are so cute. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? So, thank you so much for that. 
Uh, let's see what else do we have. Oh, yes, this stickers. Uh, this says, yes, Lord, worship, but first Jesus, then coffee. It's just really cute stickers. I like that. So those will go um, in several different places as well. Okay, so that is actually all that I have for that. Um, oh, I want to give a big, huge shout out to Elise from Llama Unraveled. She has helped me tremendously with trying to figure out how to write the pattern. So thank you for that. She is an excellent pattern writer and I appreciate her um, skills. <laughs> and I appreciate our friendship that we have made, um, that the connection that we have made over the last year, maybe year and a half. And um, I just, at least I just wanna say thank you and how much I appreciate you. She's a very busy lady. And, um, she has, she won some kind of like line brand contest that they had. And I was so proud of her and they even interviewed her and all this stuff. I mean, yeah, go check out Llama Unraveled Crochet. I'll leave the link to her um, YouTube channel below. She's an amazing pa uh, pattern writer and I trust her 100%. <laughs> um, so anyway, like I said, she helped me with the, um, or is still helping me. I still, that's the reason it's not out yet. I still have a few things that I have to um, fix that she told me need to be fixed in the pattern part, <laughs> as, as far as the PDF part. So, um, yeah, I got to take care of that tonight. <laughs> and um, another shout out to Margie Elizabeth Smith. She is one of my doll clothes pattern testers. And um, she is actually just going to look it over, not like Elise is doing, where Elise is like helping me with the, um, like the very hard technical stuff to me. Like, uh, what do you call, the math part of it, um, what do you call, the multiples and things like that, um, helping me with gauge and things. But what Margie is helping me with and what she is so good at is how to word certain things to help people understand what you're trying to get across. <laughs> like, especially when it comes to assembling something. And um, so Margie's really good at that. And so she is helping me on that end of it for this. So I just want to say thank you, Margie Elizabeth Smith. She um, does have an Instagram page and I will leave her Instagram um, link down below so that, um, you know, and say hi to her and say thank you, Margie. <laughs> um, she's like I said, she both of these ladies have really, really helped me. Uh, in writing the, the PDF part of this. Now, Margie hasn't got back with me yet, but she um, is getting with me tonight. And um, so, yeah. So, I appreciate that, Margie. I appreciate that, Elise. And, um, yeah. So, that's all that I have for this video. Be sure and look for that. Uh, hopefully, it will go out uh, Friday. Okay, so, let's go ahead and do our 365 days of prayer. I'm telling you, I have been a busy late, uh, lady lately. It's been so much fun. Um, I love being busy, as you guys can tell. <laughs> um, it says, thankful in trials. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. James 1, 2, 3, 4. Lord, I'm learning that when I walk with you, even the hard things are good things. Each time I face a trial, I have you as my defender. I learn a new facet of your great compassion and provision every time you bring me through. We grow closer and I grow stronger. Lord, thank you for trials. I never thought I'd say that, but it's true. I thank you because the more I face, the more I understand how you shape me and share yourself with me through them. As long as you are with me, bring it on. I can't wait to know more of you and become a better me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if I want more trials necessarily, but um, I guess if it helps bring me closer to the Lord um, in their small trials. <laughs> uh, okay, so, and it says, are you becoming better through your trials? Yes, um, I do believe that I am for sure. Okay, all right, that is all that I have. Um, like I said, I'm just so excited. I just can't wait to get this out. And I plan on making it in a couple of other colors because I need some for summertime. So um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.